Welcome back! Let's explore the circles option in the sketch palette. So I enter the sketch mode and I have multiple options to draw a circle. The first one is that I can draw a circle by a center and by specifying the radius. And the second one is that I can draw a perimeter circle for which I have to define three points through which the circle has to pass. So choosing the first one which is the regular type of circle I need to first specify the center of the circle followed by specifying the radius of the circle. The other options in the property manager are that I could define this circle for construction. I have parameters for the x and y coordinates of the center of the circle and I have another parameter that could specify the radius of the circle. So I could specify a fixed radius for example 10 centimeters right here. The second option is a perimeter circle. For this one I need to specify three points through which the circle needs to pass through. These three points anchor circle onto the 2D plane. So I define a starting point second point and then when these two points are defined a third point fixes the circle onto the work area and as before you could see there are parameters for the center of the circle specifying the coordinates of the center and the radius of the circle which could be specified according to your needs another option is to create slots you could have straight slots by defining the two points or a center point straight slot, three point arc slot or a center point arc slot. To define the first one which is a straight slot I need to first define the first point on the slot now you can see that I'm going to follow a center line and define the second point that defines the other end of the slot. I can specify a width of the slot by specifying the third point. The slots can also be defined for construction and they also have parameters like the x and y coordinate of the center of the slot, the width of the slot and the thickness of the slot. There is also an option to add dimensions to the slot once you make it. You could check the checkbox that says add dimensions and then when you make the slot it would automatically add dimensions to the slot. It would add the dimensions for the center to center distance and the width of the slot. So if you make a slot now it automatically adds the dimensions. The second option is that it could also add dimensions for the width of the slot and the overall length of the slot. So creating a new slot now adds the dimensions automatically. The second slot type is the center point straight slot. If you click on the work area now it starts with the center of the slot and it creates a line that extends at both sides. You now need to specify one end of the slot and then the third point that you click on will specify the thickness of the slot. As with the previous case, you now have the options to add dimensions to the slot from center to center or for the overall length of the slot. There are also other parameters that you can see which are the x and y coordinates of the center of the slot and the width of the slot and the height of the slot. The other slot option that you get is an arc slot. For which first you need to specify the starting point of the slot followed by the second point that creates the arc for which the slot has to follow and finally a third point that will change the curvature of the slot and a fourth point adds thickness to the slot and it adds width to the slot. The fourth option in the slot section is the center point arc slot for which you first need to specify 
the center point of the circle from which you want to start the arc. As you click on the center point, it extends a construction circle on which you can create the arc for the slot. Now you need to specify a starting point of the slot, followed by the end point of the slot, and then the fourth point that you specify creates the thickness of the slot. Now as I use the add dimensions button, it automatically adds the dimensions of the slot that shows me the angle of span, the width of the slot, and the distance of the slot from the center of the circle. So to sum it up, if you want to create circles, you have two options. You could create a circle from the center and the radius of the circle, or you could create a parameter circle. Now, if you want to create slots, you have options to create straight slots, center point straight slots, arc slots, and center point arc slots. Thank you so much everyone.